Tonight on Caveman News, a woman dies on Highway 42 after a collision in her pickup truck. A drone strikes a Syrian military graduation and kills 80 people. Skills USA visits Comic Con and meets Charles Brown of the 501st Legion. And the football rivalry between Arkansas and Mississippi continues on October 7th. My name is Eric West. And my name is Constance Van Heusen. All this in more detail here on Caveman News. A marked tree woman died this week when her pickup collided with a semi-truck. According to KAIT.com, Arkansas State Police report that the crash occurred at 156 Wednesday, October 4th. The crash was on Highway 42 at Tidwell Road in Heifer, Arkansas. According to the crash report, 34-year-old Amanda Phillips was westbound when her 2009 Dodge Ram crossed the center line and struck the truck eastbound. At least 80 people are dead with hundreds more injured. After a drone strike targeted a military graduation in the Syrian city of Homs last Thursday. This comes after 13 years of conflict has devastated the Middle Eastern region. Nation. According to PBS, Syrian officials believe that insurgents with international ties are behind the deadly attack. However, no group has come forward to claim responsibility. After the attack, Syrian military forces shelled, shelled villages in rebel-held territory. In those killed in homes, there were many civilians and six were children. Back in September, Skills USA traveled to the Arkansas Comic Con to do some interviews with cosplayers, local celebrities, and vendors. This week, Michael Otwell meets with Charles Brown of the 501st Legion, a Star Wars cosplay organization that does a lot of charity work for our area. Let's take a look. What exactly does the 501st Legion do? Uh, the 501st Legion is a uh, premier Star Wars costuming club. Uh, we focus mainly on the uh, bad guys or the Imperials, uh, and we uh, cosplay uh, Stormtroopers, Darth Vaders, uh, Imperial Guards, any of the uh, Empire or bad guys that you see on screen throughout the uh, entire movie saga. I heard, did you guys help with the, uh, wasn't it the filming of The Mandalorian? Uh, we did. We did have a, uh, some of the 501st Legion members were, in fact, in uh, The Mandalorian. The uh, very closing scene in season one, uh, where the stormtroopers came to shoot out the uh, the bar that the Mandalorian wears. Those stormtroopers that you see, those were all uh, all Legion members. Did they all have fun doing it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, what else does the this do besides that? Well, what we do here, especially in the uh, the Arkansas region, we do a lot of charity work. We do a lot of charity work with children's hospitals. Uh, we go out and do hospitals visits uh, with them. We do a lot of charity work with uh, some of the uh, the walks uh, that we hear. Make-A-Wish we do a lot of uh, work with. Uh, a few years ago, we held a fundraiser for the Make-A-Wish Foundation where we were able to raise enough money to uh, fund the wish of a child right here in central Arkansas. That's pretty nice. I Honestly, like what did you guys do? Did you bring like some of the Star Wars people in there and just had fun? Uh, we did a, uh, we had kind of a, a fundraising uh, a dinner type of thing. Uh, we had a lot of Star Wars props that we auctioned off. Uh, and we just, uh, you know, had a dinner, got to guys together. Uh, and it was, it was a good time. Hmm, sounds good. Um, is there anything else you'd like to mention before closing off? Uh, it's just, uh, you know, this is a great time to be a, a Star Wars fan, and if you're interested in, in joining the fun, uh, definitely come on out and uh, see us uh, at the con, and uh, or you can check us out on uh, Facebook, uh, and our website is ar501st.com. Okay. Thank you for the interview. 
Mississippi and Arkansas are set to go head-to-head -head Saturday, leaving many college football fans wondering how it's going to go. Just last week, Ole Miss pulled a 55-49 win against LSU. This has Razorback fans worried about a possible comeback for Mississippi. Last season, Arkansas had destroyed Mississippi with a 42-27 victory. Most worrying, however, is the Razorbacks' current losing streak, with Arkansas losing their last three games. Whichever way the game ends up going, it should be interesting. The game was streamed on ESPN. So, um, how do you feel about Arkansas losing their last three games? Kind of disappointed, but I hope they will do better. That concludes today's Caveman News. I'm Eric West. And I'm Constance Van Hoosen. Thanks for tuning in and good night.